That's right, guys. It's me, James Sweeney, coming at you from the Brooklyn Balcony. As you can see behind me, it's another great day here in the Big Apple. But there is some good news. The markets, for the most part, they were on the upside. And you want to know something else a little bit better? That's right. It's after 4 o'clock. The markets are closed, and it's officially time for Happy Hour in New York City. Now, U.S. stocks, they managed to surge Wednesday after the Federal Reserve retained the phrase considerable time in its policy statement. And also after, get this, introducing another word, patient. Yep, trying not to laugh, <laughs> trying my best not to laugh, not working. Patient is what they added today as the central bank prepares to raise interest rates next year. Now, the subtle change in wording led the way for a market surge. And believe it or not, you can actually say in this case that patience has paid off. In addition, Fed Chair Janet Yellen said the new language was not a change in policy and that a rate increase was unlikely for the next several meetings. Meanwhile, energy producers leading Wall Street gains as the price of oil turned higher for a second consecutive session and the cost of living declined in November with the consumer price index falling 0.3%, its largest drop since 2008. And with another session of gains for crude oil of 54 cents, gold up 20 cents, then there's a session where for every share falling, nearly seven rows over at the New York Stock Exchange. Let's now take a look to see how the market shaped up today's trading session. And lastly, on the corporate front, FedEx falling after the shipper posted disappointing second quarter earnings and Verizon Communications falling after Goldman Sachs downgraded the telecommunications company to neutral from buy. So there you have it. Kick back, relax, grab yourself a drink. Tomorrow's Thursday. It'll be only one day removed from the weekend. The week after that is already Christmas week. Can you believe it? Oh, well, they're making a lot of noise. Until tomorrow morning, for ModernWallStreet.com, I'm James Sweeney.